Hi, I'm Dr. Anshumala Shukla Kulkarni, consultant gynecologist and minimal access surgeon at Kokila Bain Dhirubhai Ambani Hospital. So we're going to talk about what is minimal access surgery, which generally people would talk about as being keyhole surgery or laparoscopic surgery and the newer advances, which is robot assisted surgery in gynecology. Let's talk about minimal access surgery in gynecology. I think most of you might commonly know what minimal access surgery is about. Using a telescope which is about a centimeter or one, 10 millimeters in size and small instruments which are 5 millimeter in size, we make keyhole incision on the tummy and access uh, the problems that a woman may have, namely fibroids or if the patient requires a uterus removal surgery or requires an ovarian cyst removal surgery or in special circumstances what is called as endometriosis surgery. Now this was our routine, we used to do laparoscopy for the last uh, maybe 16-17 years but we have evolved in that because there were certain shortcomings of laparoscopy where the vision used to be only on a two dimensional image and the instruments were state stick instruments like this and in order to get over whatever shortcomings the laparoscopy was having we started the robot assisted surgery program in Kyungilabin hospital. Now the robot is not a robot that's coming in to do the surgery for you but it's just a name given to a computer which is applied to laparoscopy. So you are using um, artificial intelligence or robot assistance to laparoscopy where the surgeon now gets enhanced vision because they are able to see inside with three dimensional vision. So it's not just three dimensional vision where you wear a glasses and you look at a cam uh, like a screen uh, like you would see in theatres but this is an immersive view. So it is like I am looking into the abdomen of the patient, into the patient's insides in a three dimensional way. So it's very realistic. And the instruments have got hand like motion rotation like this. How that helps me? Say if I have fibroids, multiple fibroids and I need to stitch up the uterus very well so she can carry a child in that womb later. The robot helps me to make precision. It helps to improve the precision here. It helps to reduce blood loss. It gives very little pain. So the patients are pretty much up and about in 24 hours and ready to go home. It is brilliant for gynecological malignancies. However, there are certain aspects where a robot assisted surgery actually is uh, recommended namely patients who have endometriosis. We all know, uh, we may have heard of what is endometriosis. It is a growth of uterus lining outside the uterus and it can cause devastation inside. It can cause things to get stuck to each other, the intestines, the urine pipe. Um, there could be multiple surgeries having done for this patient because she has so much pain or infertility. When these patients require precision, they require better visualization to reduce complication rates or they require a better uh, dissection capability, that's where the robot actually comes in. So our success rates are better uh, for severe grade 4 endometriosis when we use the robot assistant to do the surgery as compared to doing it with the help of uh, laparoscope. We also use the robot technology to do what is called as pelvic floor repair. So we have all heard of, uh, may have heard of uh, how uh, women come in with uh, something coming out, the uterus has come down from its position, the bladder has shifted from its position. These are cases where uh, now doing a one single surgery for all, which means just remove the uterus and put some few stitches from below, does not work anymore. We do what is called a site specific defect repairs, which means we look at where the defect is, we look at where the support system has actually gone loose and target it and put stitches in that particular position. This is often involves very precision, lot of precision and lot of suturing or tying up at correct places in small narrow spaces and that's where the robot assistant actually helps. So if it's doing a what is called as a hysterectomy sacrocolpopexy or a paravaginal repair, the robot assistance actually helps us to improve our success rate as well as preci precision rates. So um, as you've learned, uh, minimal access surgery that is laparoscopy as well as robot assisted surgery can be applied to pretty much most of the procedures that are required in gynecology for a woman, whether it is fibroids, ovarian cyst or endometriosis. And in fact, in certain cases such as severe endometriosis, grade four endometriosis or previous surgery cases, Robot assisted surgery is giving you an edge over the routine laparoscopic surgery.